everybody and welcome back to Akshata's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by today. So today's recipe is a very interesting a snack item or you know if you want to have a light lunch. It's uh, pan rolls and it's uh, something very different if you haven't heard of pan rolls before but it's so simple to make and it you can make them, keep them in your refrigerator and whenever hunger strikes just shallow fry some of them and you have all set to go. So let's start making today's recipe of pan rolls. So friends, let's start with today's recipe. Now first, we are going to make the keema or the mince, which is the filling or the stuffing for this pan roll. It's super simple and very, very easy. So for that, I've used about 250 grams of chicken mince. You can use beef or mutton too. Now this is one medium sized onion chopped. This is about a tablespoon of garlic. This is some meat masala, some ginger grated and some Kashmiri red chilli powder and some salt to taste. Now all ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So I've added about a tablespoon of oil to my pan and to that I'm going to add the onion and I'm going to fry the onion well till it becomes translucent. Next it will go in the garlic paste. I've taken about five large cloves of garlic and uh, you know put them in my blender and made a paste of it. So fry the garlic till all the rawness goes away. Next goes in an inch of ginger which I have peeled and then grated very fine. Don't throw away the peel. You can put it into your tea when you are making your tea. It really adds a nice flavor. Just some tips along the way. So fry the ginger, garlic and the onion really well. Now just put in your keema or your mince. And let the keema nicely fry along with the onions and the ginger garlic. Now I'm going to add my meat masala. You can use any brand and the Kashmir red chilli powder and the salt. And that's all friends that I do for my keema. It's really simple and yet it tastes really, really great. Now mix everything together and add about one fourth cup of water because we want to cook the mince or the keema. And then you just cover and cook it for about 10 minutes on a low to medium flame. You can taste it at this point and see if you require some more salt or you require some more chilli powder. Now I also have a recipe for keema parathas. You can go and check it out on my channel or I'll leave a link below. So now the keema is ready. Now for the pan rolls, I've just sauteed the keema a little bit till it becomes a little bit dry. So there's not much of the gravy or the liquid uh, there. Now we're going to go to make the crepes or the pancakes which are required for this recipe. Now here I've taken about a cup of maida or all-purpose flour. To that I'm going to add a little bit of salt to taste. Next goes in about half a teaspoon of baking powder. This really makes the crepes very light. We're going to mix all the dry ingredients well with a whisk. Next goes in one egg. And then we're going to pour about half a cup of milk. And just whisk everything and add milk as you require, maybe a little more, just to make a very thin and runny batter like you would with a pancake batter. Now I've just heated my pancake pan, just brushed it with a little bit of oil, or you could use butter too. And just take about two tablespoon, two uh, ladles full and just, you know, swirl the pan around so you get this thin pancake. And then you'll see these bubbles appearing on it. And the edges also start to brown a little bit. Just flip it for about a half, you know, for a second or so. So it gets fried a little bit on the other side. And then just put them on a plate. So they cool a bit. And just make, you know, the remaining crepes as much as you uh, need or as much as you want to make. So I just wanted to make just a few. So I just made about f five We 
we don't want to brown the pancakes or the crepes too much so the minute the edges turn golden brown just flip them over and when you're putting them down on the plate just put them the you know the darker side down now these are my crepes this is the keema ready one egg which i've just beaten up roughly and some bread crumbs and now we're going to start making the pan rolls so just put the keema or the mince which we have prepared on one end like this and then just fold it up very tightly like this and keep them aside So if you want to make more, then you can just double up the quantity of the batter. And now these are ready. I'm just going to dip them into my beaten egg and then into the breadcrumbs. And then keep them aside. So like I said, you can refrigerate them and use them whenever you require. And then I'm just going to heat some oil in a pan and I'm going to just shallow fry them till they're nice and golden brown. And these go perfectly well with some tomato ketchup. They're just delicious. I hope you liked today's recipe and I hope you will give it a try. Do let me know in the comment section below what you thought of today's recipe. And if you give it a try and you like it, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up icon that you see below this video. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, then please do and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, a little bell icon will show up. Click that bell because that way whenever I put up a recipe, you will get a message for the same. Also, if you're looking out for any recipe, I have more than 500 recipes on my channel. When you go to the YouTube search button, just type the recipe and type Akshita's recipes and my recipe will show up first. That's the easiest way to find me on YouTube. Also, I'm very active on Facebook and Instagram and I have my own blog page. All links will be down in the description below. Also, at the end of the video, you'll see two boxes sliding up. Those are my videos. If you want to see those recipes, just click on them. In the middle of the video, you'll see something coming up sliding this way called Suggested. Uh, and those are also my videos. If you want to see them, just click on them. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on today's recipe. And uh, uh, take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Stay fit. Be loving and kind to one another. And I will catch you in my next video sooner than you think. Take care, guys.